May is Inflammatory Bowel Disease Awareness Month, and more than 1.5 million Americans have Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. The most common forms of inflammatory bowel disease, um, of course, are the two I mentioned. And joining me now with more details is Dr. Thomas Rupp. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks I, for having me. Absolutely. That's quite a number, 1.5 million Americans. It, it certainly is. And uh, my view is skewed because I see these patients all the time, so mm -hmm. I actually thought it would be greater than that. Sure. Now, explain the two forms that I mentioned. Well, right. It's, it's a form of colitis. Is mm -hmm. called inflammatory bowel disease, okay. and you only have two forms. It's either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. Okay. And Crohn's can occur from the mouth all the way to the anus, all the way to the end. Sure. Whereas ulcerative colitis occurs only in the colon. Okay. And they um, involve somewhat similar but somewhat different treatment options. And um, ulcerative colitis can actually be cured if you remove the colon. Okay. Crohn's cannot be. Okay. So what are symptoms that people experience sometimes? They can have diarrhea, mm -hmm. abdominal pain weight loss, fevers, chills, just a general sense of unwellness. Okay. And are they going to just notice, it, is it normally brought on by certain types of food that they eat? Not necessarily. Uh, oftentimes, it's, this is an immune uh, mediated response okay. to the body. And certain foods can make them feel worse. Some can make them feel better. They're comfort foods. But not necessarily. It's a food, eating a certain diet will not cure okay. this, this condition. So how do they manage it then, I well, guess? Well, we, we use different types of medicines. Okay. Um, and some are infused through the vein or um, given through um, like pill form mm -hmm. or enemas. Um, but um, some things such as probiotics, such as foods, can oftentimes help people not cure the disease, or, but it can help relieve the symptoms and give you um, just a, a, you feel better. Okay, and we have some information right there on, on the screen. Well, uh, are those some of the things you're talking about, the probiotics? I certainly do, yes. Yeah. In fact, um, the second thing, kefir, um, is a yogurt, a liquid form of yogurt. It has a tangy taste. Okay. You can buy this at a local grocery store. And um, it is, uh, it's a great thing. It's been in Europe for hundreds of years. Okay. And it has live cultures. It's probiotics, the good bacteria, because our body is a balance of good and bad bacteria. And age-wise, can this affect just about anybody? It certainly can, but oftentimes we see it in the younger population when it's first diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And um, anyone can, can be affected by this. And once you're diagnosed, it can uh, remit and it can recur, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how you're treated and the disease course. And extreme forms, what happens to somebody that has colitis, for well, Oftentimes, it can require surgery, and that is our option, uh, I'm sorry, that is our goal as a gastroenterologist, sure. is to keep them from the surgeon's knife. And um, our goal is to uh, allow them to live a life that is free of pain and uh, allow them to go on and not worry about mm -hmm. the ulcerative colitis or the Crohn's disease. At what point should someone reach out to you? Maybe how often will it reoccur and then when they have to realize, you know, you have a real problem and you need to see someone? Well, as a specialist, we see patients after they've been seen by their primary care physician. Mm -hmm. So it's filtered down. And uh, when a patient sees us, they establish a relationship with our office mm -hmm. at Spectrum Health Medical Group. We um, will see them like every six months or so. Okay, so once again, so lifestyle, diet, what, what kinds of things can people be doing, I guess, if just to try to manage it on their own and then go from there? Well, yeah, it's something that you really can't manage on your own. Um, oftentimes you need the, the aid of a physician that sure. will guide you and then give you pointers on a healthy lifestyle. Right. As far as Spectrum Health Medical Group, what kind of team do you guys have in place to treat these types of things? We, we have a, um, a large team. Uh, it's a digestive disease uh, center where we have uh, colorectal surgery mm -hmm. and gastroenterologist. We also have physician assistants and um, we uh, try to deal with, with many different things that the patient may, may uh, face during their daily routine of inflammatory bowel disease. And when you go about diagnosing someone, yes. what will they undergo to realize what they have? Right. Oftentimes they'll undergo a, an endoscopic procedure and it's a uh, lighted tube with a camera on the end okay. and we give you medicine to make you sleepy, to make it as pleasant for you as possible. Sure. And we obtain tissue samples. It's sent to the pathologist, they look at them under the microscope and oftentimes we can make a diagnosis. Oftentimes this diagnosis is made endoscopically mm -hmm. just by visually seeing it on a screen. Right, and that's actually, I've had one of those and actually it goes down your throat. So people are wondering like, oh, how does that work, right? Right, well I, under ulcerative colitis it goes the, the other, other end. Way, yeah, right. yeah, not, but they can be put under if they need of to. Course. And, and, and they really, you really don't know what's going on. I mean, really that, is our, that, is our, that is our goal, to make it as favorable and comfortable for you as possible. Okay. So you want to come back. That's right, yes. yes. So if people want to reach out to you, they can go ahead and just stop by and visit you guys. You're at 4100 Lake Drive Southeast, Suite 205 in Grand Rapids. And you guys have all sorts of wonderful information at spectrumhealth.org. So yes. thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thank you. Absolutely.